Okay, here we are, no-till organic pots, July 26, 2015. All right, um, so compost tea uh, last summer. Uh, before that, some of these soils in these pots are five, seven years old. Um, just been the same soil, um, just left outside, uh, different potting mixes, uh, you know, from different sources, people throwing out pots with soil in them, um, mixing native soil, not really anything special done to these, it's just been left outside and just the natural bacterias, except for last summer, uh, once a week application of a compost tea so um, you know and, and I've noticed everything to so much better from you know I haven't done anything any no compost tea this summer um, just rainwater and then filtered tap water okay um, I just, the rainwater is kind of you know we haven't been getting much rain uh, with the plants growing, obviously they're drinking more water, so I have to filter the tap water to get the chlorine out of it. So, okay, here we go. I was just over here showing earlier on another video. Uh, these are the clovers, they're just wild growing in this pot here doing much better this year after being amended with the compost tea once week once a week application so this is a, a green manure there's a little maple tree we're gonna take that out of there oh it's real strong transplant that cucumber okay here we have Remember on the June 4th video, uh, this was overwintered spinach has died and seeded. It's a little ginger plant. Look at that. Took some ginger root, organic ginger root from the grocery store. And uh, I actually had it in my worm castings in my worm farm. <laughs> to get it started and then brought it out here and to the sun somewhat sun it's not fully healthy and look if you notice okay I don't know if you can see let's try to zoom in here yeah okay, you see that plant just to the left that's actually a baby spinach plant that got started from this I don't know if you can see the stalk there that is that spinach. Uh, if you if you refer to the the June fourth video, this uh, spinach plant was alive with leaves, and now it's just a stalk with seeds on it. And one of those seeds fell next to the ginger plant, and here we go. We got a spinach. A little hot, but let's see how it does. All right, here's that. And like I said, this is a I want to compare the June fourth video. So what's happened now, July 26th, same year, oh well I'm not, that's a little different soil. These are the outdoor pots, this one, another oak leaf lettuce sprouted up here, a little weed, let's leave it in there for now. There's these guys, there's a mix of carrot. Clovers are going to seed. Little dino kale. Well, actually, that's uh, I don't believe it's dino kale. I'm not sure. It's some kind of kale. Little carrots. I need to pick these. There's that guy. Remember that guy? Going to seed. This thing survived the winter. They're making new ones. It's chamomile. Picking some of these and spreading them. We're actually going to go over here. Let me show you. 
from a little bit ago. I sprinkled some seeds in this pot here. I'm going to sprinkle some more. Try to get some more growing in here. Get a little chamomile organic pot. Here is, oh gosh, I can't remember what it's called, but this is good stuff. Oh, that's not good. There was some growing in here, some chamomile, but... And I tried to start some strawberry seeds, but I don't know, I guess they... I don't know what I'm doing with starting those. I thought you just put the green tops with the little speckles. Maybe I have to put whole strawberries in there. Or I don't know, maybe they're GMO'd or something. Because I don't remember. I, I just pulled the strawberries from other people's gardens that were getting rid of, rid of them. They didn't want them. So, you know, that was at a time where I didn't really understand about GMOs. And how they're, it's not really like they say as far as scientifically tested to be safe. Kind of rush that stuff through for sake of profits. Corporate profits. Consumer be damned. Right? We're making money. We don't care about you. Okay, here's this. Oh, let's look at this raspberry too. Okay, we got a little some raspberries showing up on this guy. See, it's different. This is at a different time than those other raspberries are pretty much done. So, Swiss chard. You know, it's it, it, it. These pots really. I mean, it wasn't enough. The Swiss chard could have done a lot better by now. All these, but this just goes to show if you have soil that's, you know. Been sitting outside in these pots for many years. It does a lot better to amend it with a compost tea. And then the next season just water. But there's some wheat grass, look at that. Oh wow. That is cool. That is really cool. We are making our own wheat grass seeds. You know this stuff should be doing a lot better now just that inch of topsoil I put here you know the onion should be bigger but it definitely helped remember the June 4th video I show the onions you can barely see them but they should be a lot bigger further along there's a cucumber I put in the ground tomatoes Put them in the ground. MGM, red Russian kale, Brussels sprouts. This is the no-till garden. Just kind of threw some vermi compost on top. <clears throat> it's not where it needs to be, that's for sure. These plants are... You know, and I need to do some more, probably amending, but like I said, they've only been, only given them water. There was compost tea applications uh, last season, but it's definitely lacking. i got to harvest some of these uh, carrots, carrot seeds. Looking like those are getting mature. Let's find more mature here. Here we go. See, you gotta wet, let them turn brown. These are ready. So, let's. Okay, each one of those, a new carrot. And once again, watch out for uh, poison hemlock. Look for the hairs on the stalks. 
queen has hairy legs. Queen Anne's lace. Some clover going to seed. See this, this kind of, it's got like powdery mildew it looks like. In the pot here. Beatrice going to flower in a pot. These are pretty done. You know, the, the raspberry I just showed earlier is just putting them out. This one's done in a pot. But that one over there was transplanted, so I don't think I recorded what was going on, but some clover going to seed. Strange how this one in the pot did better than the ones in the ground. And this was a, a little more recent outdoor pot. You know, I think this is only like two years old, so I think I got just had a little more knowledge on what to do in the pots, or I just had better access to some amendments. Get some of these maple trees out of here. So, oh, there's a kind of melon or something. Hey, girl. Hey. Hi.